Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we'll be doing an updated review of Word Hero. So Word Hero has recently updated their long form editor, which allows you to write both long form articles and blog posts. So in today's video, we'll be going over the editor to see what new additions have been added and we'll write an article to see if the quality of the output has improved. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Word Hero. It's one of the most popular AI copywriters in the market. They've had a lifetime deal on AppSumo for quite some time now. So if you didn't get a chance to grab the lifetime deal, it is still available on AppSumo. It starts at $89 and you get 20,000 words included for um, the basic plan. So they have removed the unlimited credits per month, which is unfortunate. But again, if you want to go ahead and get more credits, you can go ahead and stack your codes. So if you stack two codes, you'll get the long form editor, which will allow you to write long form articles and blog posts, and you'll also uh, be able to generate unlimited words each month. So you do have to pay a little bit more um, to get the long form editor and to get unlimited words than you had to pay previously. But again, I think it's still well worth it because this is one of the best AI copywriters in the market. So again, if you want to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal, I'll leave a link below this video. And once you have a plan for Word Hero, you'll be able to see all of your short form templates on the home page. So you'll be able to toggle between the type of content which you're generating to be able to see um, those specific templates. You have business specific templates, marketing, social media, writing tools, and miscellaneous. So you just want to go ahead and find the template that works best for the type of content in which you're generating. But if you're looking to write long form articles, blog posts, eBooks, or any sort of long form copy, you want to head over to the editor. So this is where you'd be able to construct long form content. If you've used Word Hero before, this may look a little bit different and that's because they've updated the long form editor. On the left hand side here, you have your writing tools. So if you wanted to go ahead and combine any of these other short form templates, with the long form editor, you can go ahead and use um, those specific templates. So for instance, if you're writing a blog, search a blog and you'll be able to see these specific templates. So you have the blog topics. If you wanted to find some topics for your blog article, we have the blog headlines. If you wanted to come up with a headline um, for your blog uh, title, you have your blog intros, outlines, paragraphs, and conclusions. So you can use these templates if you wanted to construct specific parts of your long form article. And below the templates are your keyword assistant. Now, this is a new feature that was added into um, this version of the editor. So this allows you to enter a keyword in which you're writing about for your specific article. And then the AI will go ahead and include those keywords within your paragraph. So essentially, you're giving some more information as to what you're writing about and Word Hero will include that keyword within your article. So this would be really good at improving your on-page SEO score for your article. So instead of you having to go ahead and manually stuff keywords, you can go ahead and enter those keywords and it'll be automatically inserted into those blog posts. So this is a pretty cool and very effective feature that was added in by Word Hero. And below that will be your history. So you'll be able to see um, a history of all of the content which you generated in this session. Below that, you'll be able to create a new document and you can also open a previously um, saved document. And if you want to go ahead and save this current document, you can go ahead and do so here. And then you have your settings. On the actual editor itself, you have the undo or the redo button. You have the copy contents to a clipboard. You also have a blog outline button. So what you can do is go ahead and enter the title of your blog post, hit this button, and you'll be able to get an outline for that article. You have the blog paragraph. So this will allow you to write some uh, content for your blog paragraphs. And then you have the write more feature, which will expand any content that you currently have. So if you want to get started with a title, you can go ahead and use the blog topics um, template. So that's what I used. So I went ahead and entered or described the blog in which I'm trying to write about. And the AI gave me some nice titles in which I can use within this blog post. So here are some of the outputs in which we got back, how to start and monetize a blog, monetizing your blog, the ultimate guide to making money from your blog. Okay, so I think this one's pretty good. So let's go ahead and copy that. So we can either copy and paste it, or we can just go ahead and click the arrow and it'll automatically be added onto our blog post. So now that we have our title, we can go ahead and use the template on the left hand side to generate an outline, or we can go ahead and use the blog outline button that is included in the editor. So it's just a matter of preference. You can go ahead and try both methods to see which one gives you the best output uh, for your specific topic. Let's go ahead and get started by using the blog outline button here. Okay, so why monetize your blog, the different ways you can monetize your blog, the pros and cons, and what method is right for you and how to get started. So let's go ahead and copy our title here and use the actual template and see if it makes a difference. So why monetize your blog, finding the right advertising network, creating sponsored content, hosting events and workshops, creating and selling products and conclusion. 
So I would recommend combining both of these outputs so that you have a nice uh, in-depth article. And if you wanted to add this outline, just go ahead and click um, the button at the top right here. This will add all of the outputs onto your editor. And then you can combine these two outputs to see whichever ones um, you like the best and whichever ones you want to keep within your article. And before you get started, head over to the keyword assistant and you want to go ahead and enter um, the seed keywords in which you're including within your blog. So whatever your target keywords are, you want to go ahead and include them in this section. Okay, so monetize a blog. That's one keyword. Make money blogging could be another keyword and how to start a blog can be your third keyword. So our keywords are now added in here and they should be automatically included within our blog post content. Now, when you're generating content for your blog paragraphs, again, you have a couple of different methods in which you can go about doing so. You can either use the blog paragraphs template and then you want to go ahead and paste what that blog section is about. So this is all about why you should monetize your blog and then just double check that your keywords are included. You can also go ahead and add a tone of voice in which you would like um, to add for that specific um, blog section. But I'll leave this blank for now. Then go ahead and click write for me. Now, the second way in which you can go about and get content for this specific section here is highlighting that section and using the blog paragraph button. So again, you want to go ahead and use both of these methods to see whichever one will give you the best content. And again, you can also go ahead and combine those two methods to get more content for your article. Okay, so this is the output in which we got back. Let's go ahead and paste that onto our article here. As a society, we have become more increasingly reliant on internet for both news and entertainment. With this level of internet usage, it's no surprise that blogging has become a very popular way to make money. Monetizing your blog can be a great way to earn some extra income. Here are some tips on how to start monetizing your blog. So let's try to use the blog paragraph uh, button that's included in the long form editor to see if we can get some better content. Okay, so we got a lot of content there when we use um, the blog paragraph button. So while the content doesn't really talk about why you should monetize your blog, it talks about the different ways um, in which you can monetize your blog. This content is still pretty good. We can use this content um, definitely within the article, but maybe it's just not in the right place right now. We can go ahead and use that um, better within a section such as which we talk about the different ways in which you could monetize a blog. Okay, so let's try to generate some more content for this specific section, which talks about the different ways in which you could monetize your blog. So let's start by using the blog paragraph button and see the content in which we get back. Okay, so we get a couple different ways in which you can monetize your blog. We talk about affiliate marketing, product sales and sponsorships, advertising, and then it goes a little bit deeper into those specific um, ways in which you can make money from a blog. And I also use the blog paragraph template and we actually got some pretty decent content here as well. Some of it is repetitive um, because it just talks about ways in which you can make money from your blog, but you also get some unique content here. So I would recommend using both methods to generate content and then just go ahead and use whichever content you feel is the most relevant to your blog post in your actual article. So as you can see, Word Hero makes it very easy for you to start creating and writing your long form content. I like that there's a variety of different ways in which you can go about to get the right content for your article or your blog post. So once you've generated your outline, just highlight that specific title. Then you want to go ahead and use the blog paragraph uh, button or you can combine that with the templates on the left hand side here. From this example, it seems as though we're getting much longer and more relevant content from using the blog paragraph button. So that may be an improvement in which they made in the version two, because I remembered you were able to get a lot better content from using the templates, but it seems as though now you're able to get um, either better content from using this blog paragraph, or it may be similar, just depends on the type of content in which you're creating. And once you're finished generating content for your blog post paragraphs, you want to conclude by using the blog conclusions template. You can copy your title and paste it into this short description section here. Um, again, you can add a tone if you would like to, and then go ahead and click write for me and you'll be able to use this content for your conclusion. And you have a couple of options here. So just read through these and see whichever one you like the best and use that for your conclusion. Overall, the feel, the look and the results in which you got back from Word here seems to be the same from what I remembered from the old version. I do think that they made some improvements in the block paragraphs and the write more feature. Um, but for the most part, I don't think there's much difference compared to uh, version one. I do like the keyword assistant feature that's included here. You're able to select up to three three keywords in which the AI will include within your blog post article. So I'm not sure if I made a mistake by not selecting these keywords, but you can also go ahead and add as many keywords as you like. So you can add as many keywords as you like, but you have to select up to three keywords that the AI will include within the blog post. So this will be very good for you to keep track of your keywords, make sure that you're including all of your target and all of the related keywords 
um, that you're trying to include for that blog post. But overall, if you're looking for a solid AI copywriter with features that allow you to write both short and long form copy, you can't go wrong with Word Hero. It has over 300 reviews on AppSumo with an average rating of four and a half star. If you want to grab a lifetime deal, I'll leave a link below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.